Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and it is another Tinkercad Tuesday. I have got another awesome Tinkercad designer to share with you, so let's get cracking. If you check out the Facebook groups, Tinkercad Worldwide User Group, and also Tinkering with Tinkercad, it will not take you long to find posts by Crasher Ox. He is quite talented, and he's also quite busy. Also, if you visit my YouTube channel, you can see that Crasher Ox has a YouTube channel, and he's featured on mine. So, without any further ado, let's get into his design. So friends, when you open a design, it takes time to render, and I've bumped this up to 5x speed. But this is where you can see all the cool stuff that Crasher Ox did to create this sweet Japanese super robot. Alright friends, so that is the longest loading one that I've had so far. I do not know the exact number of pieces, but I do know that Crasher Ox worked at least 7 hours on it, and it uses a couple of really special techniques called wave duplication and Z fighting. Now if you see this cool flickering when I rotate, that is the Z fighting. And what it is, is you've got similar objects in the same area, but they're different colors. And Tinkercad's renderer has a, I guess you would call it glitch in it, but we're working that glitch in our favor and making it look like the background is flickering, which is a pretty awesome effect. The second trick called wave duplication is where you create shapes and then you scale and duplicate again and again and again to give them awesome surface textures. You can see that type of effect right here on this cool piece that pops out every time to make that awesome shape that's on his chest. Another awesome part of this is that Crasher Ox has found something that is significant to people worldwide so that we may get more and more users using Tinkercad. You don't have to want a 3D print, you just have to want to make an epic design. And increasing your ability to see how little parts can become big parts is a very cool skill. If we open up this arm right here, you can see how the group and the whole concept built it. So I'm going to keep ungrouping, and you can see these are just half spheres that have the inside cut out. I'm going to pull this one away so you can see it. It's just a cupped half sphere that he also assembled. Those are two pieces put together. So if we do undo and undo, when we group those two, I'm going to group just the small ones, so you can see how those two pieces grouped to give it that awesome texture. I'm going to group these three at once, so I'm shift-clicking and shift-clicking, so there are three shapes selected. And just like that, now you've got that awesome feature added on the robot's arm. Instead of just a normal arm piece, he's got the parts that make him more realistic if you watch the cartoon. As much as you stare at the Japanese Super Robot, don't forget there is an awesome spaceship that is coming in and taking some shots at him as well. If you ungroup that, <laughs> look at how many amazing pieces were used to create that awesome little craft. Alrighty friends, just a reminder, you can follow Crasher Ox and all these other awesome designers on Facebook at the Tinkercad Worldwide user group and then there's also the Tinkering with Tinkercad user group and you can also go to the Tinkercad subreddit and check out the awesome posts there. I also want to remind you that Crasher Ox can be found on YouTube. I've got his channel linked so you can see it right at the top of my channel. And you can also find him on Instagram and Twitter, all at Crasher Ox. Also, friends, don't forget if you hit the search button, choose people, and you type Crasher Ox, you'll be able to find all his amazing designs in his Tinkercad profile as well. And of course, if you find him there, make sure you give his designs a like and leave a comment. I just want to make sure I say thank you to Crasher Ox for sharing all the cool insights. The technique of how you do the Z fighting and the wave duplication are awesome. And I will be incorporating these in my videos from here on out. And once again, friends, don't forget, if you make something awesome, you can hit send to and you can create a link and you can share it with me. And you may be the next person that I highlight on a Tinkercad Tuesday. You can reach me at HLModTech on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can also send me an email at HLModTech as well. Last but not least, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. Last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hey, hey.